Welcome everyone to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Right now, as you can see, we have the iPad in front of us. And what I'm going to be talking about is how you can turn on the flashlight or how you can actually use it. So yeah, that's basically the topic for this video. Now, the very first way how you can access it is by swiping down from the upper right corner and you're going to get you're going to get to the control center which shows you many different toggles including the torch or the flashlight. So you can tap on it to fire it up or hold down on it and change the intensity. So of course, that's very simple to do and everyone will probably be able to get it to work. However, what if you don't have it? What if you don't have the flashlight toggle there? In this case, you have to open up the settings and in this section, make sure to go to the control center. And you have options available in here. So the first options are included controls and you have more controls. In case you don't see the flashlight, it's possible that flashlight has just been removed. When you can see that I remove it like this, if I now go to the control center, I don't have it available. So that's basically the option to keep in mind. In case you want to add it there to these available controls, you have to find it in these more controls with the plus icon with the green plus. And you can see flashlight is right there. So in case you want to add it, make sure to tap on a plus and it's going to show up in these in this section. Now it is added right at the end. It's the eighth icon. So if I want to move it to the top, I have to grab it like this and customize the order. Now when I access it, it's the first option right there. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But what could also be the problem is access within apps. If, if you don't have that option checked in this case, I would not be able to actually get to that. So right now I can swipe down and get to the control center because I'm inside of the settings apps and access within apps is enabled. When I disable it right now, I'm not able to get inside it. You can see I'm getting to the notification panel, which is kind of annoying. So make sure that this is turned on so you can always access your flash and turn it on whenever you need. However, you should also know that not every single iPad actually supports it. Because if I flip the iPad like this, you can see that I have the camera right here and it also has the white area, which is the flash. This is what actually lights up when I turn on the flashlight. Now, it's possible that your iPad may not even actually support it. And this is the reason because, of course, Apple did not put it there. Some other iPads literally don't have the support for it. So in case you don't see any flashlight or anything that could light up on the backside next to your camera, then you don't even have it available. In this case, there is nothing what you can do. There is no way to turn it on. It just doesn't work that way. So yeah, you should keep that in mind. You should know how it actually works. And yes, of course, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, you can also go ahead and try to download a third party app, which has the title or is called flashlight. But those third party apps will only light up the front portion of the screen, like the front screen with the white color at full brightness. And they consider it to be a flashlight, which technically works, but it's not something that you would probably want, right? So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. I don't want to make it any longer than it needs to be. So that's about it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful and also subscribe so you never miss videos like this one in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.